Hello and welcome back ladies and gentlemen, Force here and today we will be taking a look at Sword and Sorcery. Sword and Sorcery is an exploratory action adventure with an emphasis on audiovisual style. Originally for mobile devices, Sword and Sorcery is now available on the PC via Steam. Developed by Capybara Super Brothers and Jim Guthrie and published by Capybara Games, I found this an interesting experiment I'll call it it's more of a uh, it's more of an experience than it is a game if you ask me but I still thought it was interesting and I thought it'd be something that you guys would like to take a look at if nothing else so welcome to sword and sorcery we will be taking a look at the first of four sessions in the game let us begin shall we ladies and gentlemen how's about you tap these two little sylvan sprites so I can get a feel for your stereo sound system sounds good to me our research indicates that social support networks will play a significant positive role in the outcome of Sword and Sorcery. Note the ability to broadcast your findings as an entirely optional component of Sword and Sorcery is intended to be used in moderation. Or not at all. <laughs> we are for profoundly grateful that you have chosen to participate in this experimental treatment for acute soul sickness. This game has an interesting tone about it. You'll find the first Sword and Sorcery session to be fairly straightforward. It typically only requires 15 to 30 minutes to complete. Ready to begin? Yes? All right, let's go. So once again, I found this to be quite an interesting experience and I will not be showing you. We've been doing Power Hour episodes lately where we take a look at a full hour of gameplay. I don't find that to be a good thing to do here. We're gonna take a look. Again, there are four sessions in the game. We'll be taking a look at the first one now. This is the game. You can obviously tell this was originally for iOS devices as it's all focused on tapping the movement and the gameplay. But the game itself is about the sounds. Shh, listen. It's about the visual. Ooh, look. Okay, it's really pixelated. But it's about the experience. It's about the atmosphere. And I find it quite interesting. Let's just look around, shall we? What is this? We spied a... A thingamajigga, <laughs> thingamajig, above the iron gate. Uh, how interesting. What about this iron gate? In the meadow, there was an immovable iron gate blocking a cavernous cave. What are these? We spied a few worthless sheep lazing around in the meadow. What about this thing over here? Far from the war-ravaged steppes of Scythia, we met a dark-haired girl in a sunlit meadow. To the mountain folk of the Caucasus, she was known as Girl, and she seemed nice. <laughs> so you're going to notice here, we'll just go around and we'll tap on things, and if it's something of interest, we will be informed. There will be a little text box that pops us that tells us, hey, what is that? Like that. We spied an angry bird sculpture looming above the meadow. What about this over here? Is that anything? Yeah, sure. We spied an ollie shaped stick overlooking the meadow. And you remember the whole Twitter thing? We're able, we have the option to actually tweet these various things if we so desire. I won't tweet any of that. So the reason I'm showing you guys this game and the reason I thought it was so interesting, it's obviously quite unconventional. I mean, this is not your standard style game. You almost It almost feels like, oh, this could be an RPG, but Again, it's it's more about discovery and, and listening. Let's zoom in, shall we? Ah, uh, yes, you can zoom with the mouse wheel. And what is this hut here? It was by a solidly built water well with a broad wooden roof. I we should probably follow the dog, though. The music in this game is also quite interesting, I find. Home is where the hearth is. Agreed. Let's tip-tap that guy, huh? That sounded weird. The wood chopping woodsman chopped wood. To the mountain folk of the Caucasus, he was known as Logfella, and he seemed cool. <laughs> Logfella knew all about our woeful errand, and he agreed to lead us up the old road. Ah, thank you, Logfella. Still, we definitely got the feeling that he wasn't super jazzed about this. <laughs> What'd I tell ya? The tone of this game. We spied a pile of chopped firewood, no big deal. So you look around and you can use your mouse wheel to zoom in and out. There's also the arrow keys, which will allow you to look about your vicinity and figure out what things are. But let's follow Logfella up, as we are clearly expected to do. 
based on the pointing of those arrows. Let's go, log fella. Let's continue along our adventure, shall we? What is that? Nothing? Guess not. Again, if you click on anything of interest, you will be informed. Let's see what the sign says here. Scythia, Samara, Assyria, and Persia. These are all kingdoms of men. Minji Ta is the kingdom of the cloud. Let's tip tap. Oh, it's locked. Ah, thank you. Thank you, woodsman. Hey. Yeah, don't hay me. I'm coming. Hey. Hey, that. What did I tell you about haying me? Let's go over to this section here. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, music. I told you, man. Epic music in this game. It's good. I quite enjoy it. This is great adventuring music. Now, what is this thing? Anything? Astride at the log bridge, on the old road stood a grim flagpole adorned with blocky looking skulls. <laughs> I love how they point to the clear pixelation in the game. Because that's not what it's about, man. It's not about high tech graphics. What is that? Oh my gosh. What is that? Do we know? What are you trying to do there? Okay. The woodsman had seen some kind of creepy monster thing, and he figured he'd just let us handle it. Well, thanks a lot. Looks like my dog's not going to help me either. That thing. By the side of the old road, there was a stone carved with a pair of glyphs in the shape of a sword and a shield. Ah. I see. Okay. Alright, so let's use our weaponry and get rid of this thing. Oh, the, the music is tense. You hear that? Oh. Um, here we are. Yes, we fight. Let's so click on it. Ah, there, there's the activator. Alright, ready? Let's do this. I'm ready. Get him. She's up. This world, it's just all about clicking on these things. I don't know that I'm hitting him, though. Alright, so I guess I'll just keep blocking this thing. Because apparently, it doesn't look as if my attacks are doing much. Alright, looks like it just pieces out of here. I don't know. What was, I mean, what was that? Combat is not this game's strong suit. <laughs> can, we go, can we go over there? Let's see what this is, huh? We spied a collection of graves in a thicket to the side. The old road, and we wondered what was up with that. <laughs> I love the wording that they use in this game. It's so, so interesting. Let's click up here. Speed our way on through to the next passage. So, is anything of interest over here? We got a bridge. It's pretty standard stuff. Basically, whenever you see anything out of the ordinary, if it's not a normal shrub, if it doesn't look like the normal ground, you click on it. Chances are you'll discover something about it, like this. We spied a weathered-looking nest box that looked kind of like a face in a creepy way. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, it does look like a face in a creepy way. Ooh, there are stairs down here. Let's see what this is, huh? Look at this discovery that we're doing. Now, I know they want us to go up there, but I gotta figure out about this. What is this? Any, any hints here? All right. On a side path leading away from the old road was a stone carved with a series of indecipherable glyphs. Well, that helps me not. Amid the indecipherable glyphs, we spied a series of lunar pictograms. Hmm. Lunar pictograms. What about this stuff over here? Anything? That is a little bit better vision. Zoom in through the fog. What is this door? Can we go through this? A locked door, hid in the forest, underbrush below the old road that leads up to Minjita. So there's nothing of inf valuable information there. Well, it looks like we'll just head back up here. Sprint your way back up. All that discovery for nothing. At least maybe I know for future reference. I don't know. Am I walking on stilts? Suppose that could be the case. A little, a little lighting, a little lighting effect back there. That's nice. Let's keep going though. All right, got some interesting. What the heck? 
Okay, so some weird stuff. We spied a solitary grave at the edge of the perilous Persepice, and we wondered what was up with that. And yes, we wondered what was up with that. Let's go to these dudes. Hey. Hey. All right, so we got that thing. There's some flies flying around in the mouth, and this is just some creepy face mountain. The, the old man on the mountain, which is no longer there, unfortunately. You didn't tell me about it, anything, or what? Am I just to guess here? Let's figure out what he's... Anything to say, dude? Nothing? What about the dog? The woodsman known as Logfell had chosen to chill out beneath a stone shelter near the perilous Persepice. Logfell seemed to know all about the loathsome rainbow. <laughs> the loathsome rainbow. And the nearby glyph depicting the Skyward Sword. And yet Logfell offered zero help about what to do next. Which kind of rubbed us the wrong way, if we're being totally honest. I love it. I really do. You have to just take a seat there? Yeah. Okay. You don't really have much to say either. Uh, huh. <laughs> what? <laughs> that was so funny. Oh, this, this game's super hipster. Alright. At the edge of the perilous perspice stood a stone carved with a glyph of a skyward sword beneath the colors of a rainbow. We Scythians loathe rainbows. Right. Alright, let's see if we can... Bring up the sword here by right clicking. And let's skyward shoot it. Oh wow, that was basic enough. Do it again. Maybe not. There we are. What's gonna happen here? It's his eyeball, I suppose. And that is creepy. Guy's tongue opens up. Alright, let's take a look. I know there was something. Alright, he's jumping. Log fella is excited. What's the deal, Logfella? We had bridged the chasm and we felt super smart. <laughs> we told Logfella that we sought a burdensome book of sinister sorcery known as the Megatome. That's what we're looking for. The Megatome lurked somewhere in the haunted darkness beyond the perilous Persepice beneath Minji Ta. We resolved to get that Megatome and then get out alive. This is just... Yep, atop a huge rock. Hewn sculpture stood a grim flagpole creepily adorned with blocky looking skulls or something like that. Alright, let's just go through here. Evidently that's really nothing to discover. Some rocks over there. Tap and hold to move. So, this is the other way you can move around besides double clicking. Tapping and holding will work. Once more, clearly indicative of the mobile roots that this game has. Originally for iOS. <clears throat> what is this? Astride a rickety bridge stood a grim pole creepily adorned with an altered skull. Antlered skull. Sometimes my reading. Trespass, it says. Okay, that's that is a direct Zelda reference if I ever saw one. <laughs> Which is not a bad thing, I dare say. This is kinda creepy though. Where are we? What is What's occurring here? Okay, what is this? In a subterranean corridor, we spied an ominous statue, but we didn't worry too much about it. Dude, you can't just be so relaxed all the time. This is pretty serious stuff going on here. This adventure. You can't just wonder what was up with things and not be too worried about things. All right, so here we are. Let's take this center corridor, shall we? I feel like that's a good place to venture. Ooh. All right. Go that way. See what's up with that. So it's just gonna tell me. This is, I guarantee, you're just gonna tell me there's blocks on a thing. I can't even click on it, can I? All right, never mind. We'll go this way then. Hear that music? building the tension. Really? Am I just in the same area? I believe I am. That's weird. Alright. Once again, we take the center. Okay. That does not look friendly whatsoever. We gotta figure it out, though. What is that? This is an altered skull? Antlered skull? And There's a Triforce right there? Alright. We found the Megatome clasped in two bone hands, and we felt our sword stir, it, stir in its sheath. I suppose that means it's time to use the sword. 
Use it. All right. Pick it up. Ah, beautiful. All right. Now just time to go back home. No big deal. What? Uh, okay. That is not cool. <laughs> what the heck is that thing? I don't really know, nor do I care. It's time to run away from it. Sprint, my friend. Good adventurer. Oh my gosh, he doesn't need to take stairs either. Okay. How do you not need to take stairs? Everyone needs to take stairs. Stop floating down at me. Okay, so he take stairs over there, but not in the last room. That's weird. All right, let's make our way across here. I'm a little bit worried about that thing. Yeah, it looks like he's not following us anymore. All is well. Let's continue this way. Uh, no, come on. Don't materialize here in this hall with me. You gotta be kidding me. What is this? Nope, run. Run faster. Run fast. Okay, you can't run fast enough. Guess I really have no choice but to fight, do I? Let's go. Mono y mono. Gotcha. Oh yeah, look at that hit. You see, look, I hit him this time, and I guess those stars indicate health bars. And I tried that against the rat thing before, and that didn't work. So that's annoying. Up, oh, block it. There we go. There you go. Down to one star left. Yeah. Hey, you're dead. Thingy my jigger. That looks different than the thing I killed though. Stand. I mean, the thing that was chasing me. That looked like that guy. Whatever. Just gonna get out of here. Well, that was that was that wasn't a problem. That was not a problem at all. Combat is not this game's focus. <laughs> Quite clearly, huh? And there's that dude. Ugh, freaking me out. I wonder if that's like the same. I wonder if that's the guy's brother or something. down here or something. I don't know. There it is. Great. Ah, wonderful. Why is everything purple, though? That's odd. What's up? Hey, log fella. How's it going? We found hey. the book that we're looking for. The tongue thing went back. Smoke comes out of it, oddly enough. Out of the eyes, too. Wow, that is kind of creepy. And, ooh, look at that dude. The wolf with three eyes. I called it a rat before, didn't I? It kinda looks like a rat. We had retrieved the Megatome, and Logfella was 100% ready to move it, move it, to the safety of his lodgings. We sensed a gathering thunderstorm, and let, and yet, a little song began in our heart. What song? Is it a good one? Lots of good songs in this game. Is the song gonna start? I want the I want to hear the song that's starting in our heart. Can I hear it a little bit? There's the wolf. Once again, not too happy, none too happy. So we discovered that before. And look, okay, here we go. It's picking up. Now it's getting there. All right. That is what I was looking for. The song in our heart. Here in Sword and Sorcery. What can I say about this game, guys? I don't, again, I, I, I hesitate to call the game. But it's an experience. If you would like to experience sword and sorcery, I'd give it a shot. I'm pretty sure there's lots to discover too, just even in this first area that I have yet to find. I don't even know, there's just so much. Let's keep going though, let's head home, shall we? Oh no, the gathering thunderstorm. Sad. Let's keep moving them. Alright. That wolf thing was been chasing us, so let's, let's make this a little quicker. It's probably gonna come over here, isn't it? What was that noise? Move it, move it. Door locked. Camera pans. There's the wolf. Why is he chasing us? Why don't we just fight him again? The 
Fret not, my friends. We shall be okay. I do kind of want to go and check that out. So we'll just go that way for now, though. Here with Logfella. Going in his house. The dog's going beyond it. What's Logfella doing? Logfella? In the light of the gathering storm, Logfella admitted he had a serious case of the heebie-jeebies right about now. Was Logfella intentionally freaking us out? <laughs> in any case, it was probably totally safe to just take shelter for a bit. Sounds good to me. Let's go inside, Logfella. Hey look, it's a lady. Or girl. Ah, Logfella, put down your logs. There's my Megatome. And that is going up and... Is, what, what is occurring? Sword and Sorcery. Session one is complete. We got the Megatome and we are the smartest. That is true. I thoroughly agree with that actually. Yes, we are the smartest. Ah, hello. So, you've awoken the deathless specter who slumbered in the darkness beneath Minji Ta. Yikes. Consequently, a sin sinister thunderstorm looms and the lovely people who live in the stone hut are a little heartbroken. The upshot <laughs> is that you got the burdensome book known as the Megatome. In our next session, we'll discuss its strange purpose. Our research shows that prolonged exposure to the <laughs> what <laughs> mythopoetic psychocosmology of sword and sorcery can have adverse side effects. Are you serious? So now that you've completed session one, how's about you take a little break? I'll be right here when you're ready for session two. And that, my friends, is sword and sorcery. Now, once again, I have to tell you, this is not the full game. That's the first of four sessions. There are three additional sessions beyond what you just saw. And these sessions will continue the story and continue the experience. Now, the reason I'm not doing a full hour episode of this game is, for one, I could very well get close to three-fourths or half or completely done the game. The second reason, though, is that the, the style of this game, the type of game that it is, it's about experiencing it for yourself. It's about discovering things for yourself. I thought I'd give you enough of a sneak peek to decide if this is a discovery, if this is an adventure that you would like to take. This is not your standard game. This isn't blow things up, hack and slash, kill the big boss guy. It's about listening and discovering and it's super hipster, but that's all right <laughs> if you like that kind of thing. So once again, this is Sword and Sorcery, currently available on Steam. This was initially a game for mobile devices on iOS. It is now available for the PC on Steam. I got it for $5.99. There was a 25% discount. Uh, normally, it's available for $7.99. You may be able to still catch it on discount if you grab up the offer soon. Either way, guys, thank you for watching. Hopefully, you enjoyed this. As always, if you like the content, please subscribe. Also, be sure to check out my website, forstrategygaming.com. Thanks again, guys. Keep watching and keep owning.